Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You may also insert dividers between buttons to establish button groupings in a toolbar. Notice that some of the toolbars have these button groupings by default, which are the little divider lines between certain sections, like New, Open, and Save, which deals with file management. If you'd like to insert a divider into a section of your toolbar, select Tools from the menu bar, and roll down to Customize. At this point, select the button where you want the divider to appear to the left of. So basically select the button to the right of the place where you would like to see a divider. Then what you can do is either click the Modify Selection button, or you can simply right click on that button. From the pop-up menu, click Begin a Group. It'll put a divider to the left of the selected button. Also notice that if you click on any button and click Modify Selection, or right-click it, you'll see several different options that you have, such as changing your button image, giving it a default style, such as text only, default style of just a picture for buttons, or image and text. You could even click Edit Button Image to modify the image that's created by the button. Whenever you've made any changes, just click Close in the Customize dialog box. If you'd like to remove the divider, once again, go to Tools, choose Customize, right-click on the button that is to the right of the divider you'd like to remove, and click on Begin a Group, this time removing the check mark and then click Close in the Customize dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.